Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of A-Level Maths. Here we're looking at problem solving to do with velocity and acceleration. Optimization here is the just a fancy word for more problem solving to do with what we looked at in exercise 11b. Uh, and here we're looking at exercise 11c. So in this question here, a child is playing with a yo-yo. The yo-yo leaves the child's hand at t equals zero and travels vertically in a straight line before returning to the child's hand. The distance in metres s of the yo-yo from the child's hand is given by this expression here. And we've got a couple of questions here. We've got justify the restriction between 0 to 3 and find the maximum distance from the yo-yo uh, from the child's hand to three significant figures. So for part A, let's just have a sketch of the diagram here. Now, um, let's find the roots of this polynomial. So we'll set s equal to 0 and we'll eventually see that we can factorise this to t 3 minus t, 1 plus t. So we're going to have roots at minus 1, 0 and 3. Now it definitely makes sense therefore that uh, t should be in between 0 to 3 because it should only really be a positive distance away from the child's hand and it is only a positive um, displacement when 0 is in between 3 and 0. Okay, so that's that's basically the justification there. We shouldn't have a negative displacement. Uh, the only values where s is positive, apart from less than minus 1 back in time, is in between 0 to 3. Okay, part b then, find the maximum distance of the yo-yo from the child's hand. Now, the maximum, maximum distance is when our graph is reached this point here. So that's effectively a... Uh, maximum point. So you can link it back to what you learnt in A-level maths. When you looked at maximum um, point problems, you looked at your differential and set that equal to zero. And that's what we're going to do here. We're going to set the differential of this equal to zero, or in other words, the velocity equal to zero. Because what you ideally want to happen is for the yo-yo to drop down, stop, and then come back up again. So we want to find out when this velocity is equal to zero. So, in this case here, we've now differentiated and we've set equal to zero. And now we've just got to solve a quadratic. Now, you can you could just take this and substitute it into your quadratic solver in your calculator, or you could go the old-fashioned route and uh, use the quadratic formula. So we get 1.868. So we've got a negative time here, but seeing as uh, time is positive or in between zero to three, we'll exclude that one. So we've got t equals 1.868. Now what I would do, that's probably a really long decimal number, what we've got to then do to work out the distance is substitute this back into our distance formula here. So using that as the answer button in your calculator, substitute that into your distance formula, <clears throat> and you'll end up with 1.21, to three significant figures. So the maximum distance here is 1.21. So what the important part of this video is, is that when you're looking to find a maximum distance or a maximum velocity even, then it's a good idea to think of it as a max-min problem, just like you did in A-level maths, look at the differential and set that equal to zero. Okay, one question here for you to have a go at then. Pause the video and try this one out. Right then, well done for having a go at this question here then. So part A is show that the body returns to its starting position at t equals 4. So in this case here we just need to substitute in t equals 4. Um, so we'll get 4 to the power of 4 minus 4 to the power of 4 which will equal 0. So 0 displacement then, so that returns to the starting point. Explain why s is always non-negative. Well, because we've got a boundary of 0 to 4, that will restrict it from being non-negative. So if we were to set up a, um, an inequality and factorise out the t cubed, what we would end up is this here. So then the graph is going to have two intersection points, one at 0, one at 4. Uh, it's going to be a negative quartic, so it's going to start from the bottom and finish in the bottom. 
Uh, it's going to have a x cubed type turning point at zero, and then it's going to just go straight through the four point there. So it's because the graph uh, is going to be positive in the y coordinates um, between zero to four, because there is a boundary from zero to four, basically. Part C here is find the maximum displacement of the body from its starting point. So if we want to find maximum displacement, then we're going to look for whenever the velocity was equal to zero and it started to turn back round again. So V is the differential of this thing here. So that's going to be 12t squared minus 4t to the 3. And we want to set this equal to zero because we want to find its maximum displacement away from the body. We want to find the turning point. So factorize out 4t squared and we'll get then 3 minus uh, t equals uh, 0. So therefore t must equal 3. Uh, we don't want t to equal 0 because that won't give us a maximum velocity. Right then, so what we need to do then is substitute 3 back into the displacement here. So S of 3 is going to be equal 27 times 4, which is 108, minus 81, from that's T to the power of 4. So take away 81, and we get 27. So the maximum displacement away from the origin is going to be 27 metres. Okay then, so have a go at plenty more of the questions from exercise 11c. There will be some where you're trying to maximise uh, the velocity, and in which case you're going to have to set acceleration equal to zero. Um, so go ahead, yeah, try, try some more questions from exercise 11c. Do have a go at the hard ones as well. Persevere through the challenges and ask your teacher for help if you need any. Thanks very much for watching.